What is going on guys? Welcome to part two of Good Luck on the Galaxy Z Fold 3. If you didn't see part one, I have it linked down below for you so you can watch it. If you don't know what Good Lock is, it is a customizable app that you can download on your Samsung Galaxy phone, not just the Z Fold 3, and really customize the crap out of your phone. You get to it by going to the Galaxy Store. So go to the Galaxy Store and search for Good Lock. Come in here, download the app, and then open it up. When you open it up, like I said, I did part one already, which was the unit tab down here. It was all of these. I went through all of these different modules so you can take a look and see which ones uh, you wanna use. Today, I'm gonna do the family one and there's a ton of stuff on here. So let's just jump into this. First one is called Keys Cafe. So when you open this up, you do have to be using the Samsung keyboard. So let me switch over to the Samsung keyboard real quick. And this is an actually really cool app because you can customize and make your own keyboard with this, as you can see. So you can do a simple keyboard, a Dvorak keyboard, a Colmac. You can change around the symbols. You can hit you know, the plus sign if you want and edit this the way you want it. It's pretty crazy what you can do here. You also have the ability to style your keyboard and you have a bunch of styles that you can choose from because you know it's either just like the white keyboard or the black keyboard if you use in dark mode. But here you can completely style out your keyboard or use some effects on your keyboard. You see as you type, it'll do different effects, different colors. You can change the colors. You can make different sounds if you want. It's again, pretty awesome. So say I just chose this one, I'm gonna hit apply to that one. It's gonna install that theme on my keyboard real quick. There you go, there is my keyboard to use all customized, all uh, you know, pimped out to be the way I want it to look. Next up, we have Pentastic. This is gonna have to do with the S Pen. So you're gonna need an S Pen with this, uh, otherwise you won't be able to do Pentastic on here. But you can see you can get different menus. You can use different menus when you bring up your uh, S Pen and you can make it you know, change different. You can put a background to it if you want. You can make it just a, a line of information. That's right when you click on this stuff so it'll look different. You can have it be circular. So if I set that, I'm gonna hit use. And you can see right here, it's gonna use that. But I, I really like the way they have it currently. So I'm gonna keep it set at that, which is pretty helpful. The other thing is you, you have these different cursors. So you'll see, I'll make it really big so you can see it a lot easier. I put use. And when I bring up my cursor, you can probably see that little heart on there. So instead of having like a little dot circle, you'll have a heart. And you can do, you can choose any of these. They're all different. Can see it'll look like a little blob guy. Le Does that say Lisa? <laughs> All kinds of different little character guys that you can use. You can use Bubbly. So pretty cool that you can use all these little hosts of characters as your pointer with your S Pen with uh, Pentastic. You can do a double tap shortcut. So if I turn this on, turn this on to choose what the action does. So if I double tap with my S Pen, it will do something for me. So maybe I want it to open up um, Amazon Alexa, for instance. All right, so we have it set up. So what I'm gonna have to do is press on this pen button and double tap. And it opened up my Alexa like I wanted it to. Next, we have Wonderland. Wonderland allows you to create your own moving wallpaper. So you can choose a wallpaper that you want. Choose my face here. And some of this stuff can be on here, so you can do edit. So I had hi Greg to that. This isn't gonna be anything beautiful, but just to show you what you can add, I'll add some particle effects. Maybe I want this, flying snowflakes, autoplay. I'll keep everything the same by default. And you can see it now adds that in. So you can really customize your moving wallpaper on here of your phone. Pretty cool stuff. Uh, if you don't want to, you know, use your, if you don't want to use your own, you can come in here and choose some predefined ones that they have. For instance, you have this one, so you could just use this one and then you can still customize it if you want. Like even though they created some stuff in there, you can come in here and add more stuff if you want. Maybe you want to add a particle preset like heavy rain and you want it to come down as hearts. You can see that. 
It's not hearts, but I guess there's rain right there. So you can customize the stuff they have and the stuff that you create. Next up is Theme Park. This allows you to make your own themes. As you know, in Galaxy, you can download themes, but what about creating your own theme? You can do that. So you hit Create New, and it loads up your images. You choose the image that you want. So you can set wallpaper. So it'll create a theme based off of this. So I can do current wallpaper or look through my gallery and choose a photo. And again, it'll create a theme off that. I'll just use what I have now. And you can see what it's going to look like with all the colors that they are saying that they're gonna end up using. And if I don't like something, I can click on it and change it if I want. I can change it for the surface, the primaries, the backgrounds, all that stuff. Or if, like I said earlier, I can come in here and create uh, and, and one and we can do gallery and we can just choose an image. Maybe I want this green one This right here. I'm gonna hit done and hit next and we will see again that it'll create a completely different theme based off the green background with green layers So it creates themes based off your photos and it's awesome It's like so amazing that it just like takes all the hard work out for you and just makes your life easier Next up is nice catch nice catch you can see as long as you have it turned on you can see the title of a catcher to find its detail. So if you want to go, you come in here, you can check out like, what was that vibration that happened? And it'll tell you what app cre uh, created that vibration or ringer if, or, or even uh, we'll go to some detect commercials. It'll tell you when it, which app it detected commercials in. You can come into screen wake up history, what apps woke up the screen. And it's just a quick way. The reason you'd want this basically is you would want this because of the fact that uh, maybe your phone's you know making a weird sound or a buzz. You can come in here and figure out which app caused that issue. That's why you would you want to use Nice Catch. One hand operation is going to allow you, as long as you turn it on, it's going to add gesture handles to the left or right side of the screen, so you can control your phone easily with one hand. You can customize actions to use when you swipe in different directions from each handle, and so you got like I have the like the left and the right, so I can come up here and uh, press, it says press again to return. So I, I have these back buttons here that I can do stuff with just to make my life easier if I want. Uh, that way I don't have to like go all the way down here. I can just swipe from the side here and control. Same thing on the right hand as well. It's just telling me if I do it again, it'll go back. So you do have some one hand operational things that'll make your phone easier to use. You can change the width, the size, the position. You can change the colors, the custom vibration intensities. Go into advanced settings and change when things are work and when they don't work. A lot of customizable options in here. Last one, Sound Assistant. Sound Assistant gives you control over your sound. You can customize your volume panel if you want and take control over that. You can say, cut, uh, change the app volume slider, the floating buttons and more. So if you tap on that, you can come in here and decide if you want it on the left or the right. You can move it. You can show volume levels or turn that off. You can do expanded uh, love panel if you want and take control over that. Also within here, you have individual app volume controls. So add apps to change the volume of the apps individually, select from the multimedia apps below to change the app volume individually. So like if I came in here and say I wanted Apple Music, for instance, to have certain volume controls, I can come in here and it'll have its own volume control for me when I'm in that app. Control media volume. So what this does when you have that on, it's always going to control your media volume, which that's what I control most of the time already. So that's important to me because my volume controls for my calls and stuff, I usually just swipe down from here and mute it or put it on vibrate or call and I don't really need to control it that much. If you need to, you can always go into the settings to control that. You have your control step volume, how much it'll like move up and down bases off you pressing and holding these volume buttons. You can control music with your volume keys, favorite your, put your favorite media apps and uh, just tons of stuff in here to get lost in with the uh, media audio uh, settings in here. So cool stuff. If you don't have this app, you gotta get it. Good Lock is an amazing app. It's one reason to, without a doubt, have a Galaxy phone. So. Thanks for watching. If you want to watch the part one of this video, it's linked down below. We'll see you guys down the road. Peace.